Good evening, everybody. We are back on the vibe. There is plenty more to do to this thing. All right, so we're back working on the vibe. I've been gone on a trip. I got like a day's worth of driving on this after we did the first um, round of fixes on this thing. I'll put a link to the video. It was a ton of work, but there's still plenty more to do on this thing. Uh, one of the things being the stereo is what we're gonna start with because the speakers are blown out. The stereo's mounted in there all cockeyed. So we got the proper mounting kit, supposedly. Um, we got a set of door speakers for the rear. We got a set of speakers for the front and they're actually components, so they're uh, tweeters and woofers. We've got um, Crutchfield. I ordered this stuff from Crutchfield. Crutchfield is not a sponsor of this channel, but I've ordered from them a few times and it's really easy. Like you just put your car in, they, they show you what speakers fit your car. Both of these were on sale. Um, so they're Rockford Fosgate Prime um, number there and then these guys over here so um the cool thing about it though like i was saying you put your car in they recommend speakers for you if you want speakers or a deck or whatever or a kit to install your deck but they gave me this stuff for free the um connectors so you don't have to actually cut into your harness so you just plug right into the factory uh, speaker harness and then plug into the back of your uh, speakers without having to do any crimping or anything and they gave me them for both front and the rear and for the uh speaker like adapters so pretty awesome um i also picked up some kill mat off of amazon it's 50 mil it's pretty thin but i wanted to get some sound editing in the doors behind the speakers um these cars are kind of rattly so we're trying to fix that uh the other thing i think we're going to address in this video is the ac so we have that um refrigerant with uh uv dye in it and we're going to end up putting that in here and see if we can get the AC system to turn on. And we'll talk about that later. Um, I ordered the seal for the driver's window. The driver's window, um, when you put the window down, it it uh, rattles in the door really bad. And when I had the door apart, I uh, found that this seal, this seal here is bad. I mean, you can see it here. It's cracked. Um, it has really bad wind noise right now too because there's parts where it's kind of missing like up here There's a big chunk. And I think that's where the wind noise is coming from um, So I ordered this entire seal. It was not cheap from Toyota and that should be coming and uh, It's really the only bad one. I think I guess I haven't really looked at the other ones But I think you know because this window probably got the most use so that kind of weathered the seal So we got that seal coming uh, next radio so this is what's going on with the radio it is in here crooked it's in here uneven like it's sticking out here and it's back in here so we're going to pop this apart and see what's going on why it is mounted like that and then we will get that kit that we got and we'll get this thing mounted in here right and hopefully it's got the stuff to do that all right I've had this thing off a couple times already all right so it looks like we have part of a stereo install kit on this side of the radio. And then on this side we have some sort of, hopefully I have the right pieces for this, because I, I don't know. This side's got a metal bracket on it. Look like it's probably from the stock Toyota mount, or GM mount I guess. I think this is GM stuff in here. I don't know. Yeah, because the interior the interior looks GM. So I think that the the um, Toyota uh, Matrix and the Vibe got different radios from what I've heard. Now this I'm I am I am happy to see that this looks really good. So I don't know if they did this or if this is just like an adapter plug that you can buy, but this looks good. Um. I don't know. It looks good to me. So I don't know what this is, what they have this blocked off for. So we got a metal bracket over here. And we got a, it looks to be broken plastic bracket over here. It's very broken actually. And there's basically just a screw going through this already broken bracket. So 
Let's see what we can do here. I wonder if this is the same kit. Pack. Hmm. Metra. All right, I'm gonna have to read some instructions and all that stuff, so I'm just gonna put you guys on time lapse. This looks very similar. A little different. Right, guys that went really well uh, the feature that wasn't hooked up was the dimmer so I went ahead and hooked it up I may not like it I may have to go back in there and unhook it but let's see uh, what this thing looks like okay I found the keys this is the nicest the dash has looked so far I gotta get this off of here unfortunately uh, the clip right here is actually busted but this thing needs to come off of here and I don't know yet, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Probably need to use a heat gun and then just try to peel it off. But yeah, so it came with this deck. Um, I don't, I have to get used to it not having a knob. This is the first radio I've ever had that doesn't have a knob for the, uh, for the volume. So, um, but it seems to be nice. It's got like, you can hook your phone up to it and make calls, which I already did. I don't know, I haven't got it 100% figured out for sure, but um, it's a DVD player. It's got capability for backup camera, which I might add. It would be kind of cool to have. Not really necessary, but it would be cool to have. Um, yeah, so that's installed there. Next, we're going to work on the uh, door speakers. All right, we got that in stereo installed last night. It is the next morning, and we are going to move on to the door speakers. Uh, we're going to start with the front door. Currently, most of the speakers don't work, like this one and the tweeter don't work. So I'm hoping that when I put the new ones in there, they will actually work. Because I didn't see anything crazy with the wiring back there. Um, that speaker and that tweeter over there work. This speaker in this door works. That speaker in that door over there doesn't work. So we're going to see what happens. We'll take this apart. I've already had this apart once, and the speaker's totally blown out, but I'll show you guys. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are in the door, and you can see there's nothing left of the speaker. So I'm guessing that's why it doesn't work. But I'm not really sure why the tweeter doesn't work. So I'm hoping that when I plug these in, they actually work. But you can see here, I wonder if the tweeter, I think I have to splice in the tweeter because I don't think that comes with a wiring harness. But this guy right here should have a plug-in capability so let's see let's grab our little wiring bag here and then got these guys one for the left one for the right and this should plug in here bam just like that and then we can plug this into our speaker um this speaker is riveted in here so we're going to get in here with a drill bit we're going to pop this out i'm guessing that the, one of these guys these speaker adapters here Toyota multi-application 98 and up. Um, pretty sure this has hardware. Yeah, this has hardware too. We got hardware and everything. So I'm guessing that this bolts in place of that, so that you can bolt your speaker in. So I don't remember what I did on the last one, but um, I think I ended up. I don't know what I ended up doing. So. Um, Let's go ahead and do the drill bit, get this out of the way. Um, we need to put some. Uh, we need to put some of the sound deadening on the on the, on the door here, and then this has all of the plastic, the the plastic that normally goes in here, to like basically seal the door off from inside of the car. That's all missing, so we're gonna try and find something to replace that with. So let's get this out of here.
All right, so we got our, um, we got the old speaker out. We got our new adapter ring in there. We got our wiring adapter. We still have to do something with the tweeter, but let's go get the speaker. I'll show you guys what the speaker is. Oh, and we got our Dynaman in the door. Okay, so this is the front speakers. We talked about this a little bit already. It's the R1675S. Um, it's kind of like a component system. I don't know if it's really a component system because component systems usually have like a little crossover sub. I don't know. I don't know a lot about radios, but I'm just going to replace the stock um, tweeters with this and the stock door speaker with this little six and a half inch woofer. At least that's what they call it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Oh, yes. Very nice. Not too bad. Still got a foam uh, outer here that won't last forever, but they were a good price for what they are. I mean, hopefully, they'll last for a long time. So, we got to see what we need to do. These are going to be easy to get in there. The tweeters might be a different story. So, um, we're just going to see what we can do. Oh, I think we need to hook... Oh, I bet we're supposed to just hook the tweeter to the back of the speaker, so we might bypass the stock wiring. I'm not sure. We're going to have to play around with it and see what see what happens here. Uh, currently, the speakers don't work at all, so we need to get these in here. We need to get one in there and see if it even works. So let's do that. Dang. I don't think we need any of those inner ones. Those inner ones are just blocking us right now, so I actually have to cut all these out. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's turn this thing on, see if we get anything. Oh, okay. Let's go to... Hey, it works! This one still doesn't work, so let's see what we got going on here. All right, so we got our tweeter. We can get it out of this packaging. Okay. This seems like a worse tweeter, honestly, than the factory one. The factory one's got this big old magnet on it. And we're going to pull this guy out. And it has a little baby magnet on it. How do we get this out of here? So that was one thing I did on my other one was I actually put a big a big woofer or a really nice tweeter in there um dang how am i gonna get this to go in there okay there we go yeah that's like a that's a solid size tweeter and the speaker really not too bad either it's got some heft to it it's got a pretty good magnet on it as well so from the factory these were pretty decent radios and uh um gm had some nice they had some nice radios they're their decks were seem to be decent, except for they were the ones where you uh, when your the buttons wear off. The faces of the buttons wear off. It's got like this rubbery uh, compound on them, and they just wear off. So that was like one of the big things. But they had some nice uh, sound systems, and these actually had. I'm looking for a monsoon subwoofer, a factory one that goes in the back. Um, so I need to find, I want to find the the subwoofer and the panel. So you need the panel that uh, it mounts to as well as the subwoofer. So, okay. So I think that's working. I got us away out of this mess, but we got to hurry. Yep. So we can plug this in. All right, we got, uh, me and my son were watching um, Monsters, Inc. So that's what you're hearing. All right, so I think this is the cleanest solution. Uh, we just cut the, I don't know what I was talking about before. So I cut the wires down, left about an inch on here. We got these little heat shrink uh, with the solder in them. And we're gonna go ahead and shrink these up. There you go, that's how easy those things are. Uh, you can do it with a lighter or a little torch or something, but the best way to do it is with the heat gun. And there you go. It is, you can see the solders melted in there, maybe. If it will actually focus. That one looks better, but yeah. 
let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and uh, oh yeah, uh, double-sided tape that I'm going to use. Ooh, I got that cool. Um, all right, so I have this 3M, this 3M 30-pound tape. We'll just make a little, take a little square of this, put it on the back, and uh, tape it on there. So. <laughs> All right, I want to make sure that the window isn't going to come in contact with the wiring when it's down. Because the wiring is slightly different than factory. And it does. So I need another zip tie in there to keep that out of the way. That'll do it. When the window channel goes in there, it's like the two pieces meeting. So when the window channel goes in there, that will quiet that up. So let's go ahead and get the panel back, door panel back on, because we're driving this thing still. All right, let's try this. Hopefully this fits on here with this woof, with this tweeter. Looks like it's in the perfect spot. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's one door done. piece rattling around in there but so that's the difference with the uh, sound ending on there you can still hear that thing rattling in there but it helps um, and then we're gonna get that plastic on there which will help even more uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side it's gonna be pretty much the same I'll show you if anything goes weird but uh, I'm ready to rock out in this thing. So we got three more speakers to do. I'll show you one of the back doors when we do those. But I'm going to go ahead and get the other front door done first. All right, I just wanted to show you guys. This is what the factory door is supposed to look like with this plastic on it. Um, and it even has this, I think it's called Duke, um, extra insulation. Someone had been in there and replaced the door, the window regulator. And obviously they just ripped the stuff out, which is what a lot of people do when they go in there and they don't know. Um, so hopefully, maybe I can actually find like a factory... Um, piece like this for over there or a junkyard or something but that's what you want so I just got done with this one I just gotta put the panel back on but we got our tweeter in there we got our we got our speaker down here and uh, I'm just gonna put it back together and then we're gonna move on to the rear all right guys I just wanted to show you this real quick so we got our speaker in here we got our new um, uh, adapter or whatever you want to call that thing and then we got the kill mat in the wind in the door so uh, we are ready to go on this one, and then we got one more to do. All right, guys, we got everything installed. You can't really play music on YouTube. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play. I know you can play a certain amount, like you can play like 10 seconds or something like that, six seconds. I don't know. I'm going to play a little bit of music. We'll cut it in, and maybe I'll go to a video, one of my YouTube videos, and play the intro from that. That might be okay. I'm not sure. Should be. So let's go. episode of the all right you guys i mean we went from having all of the speakers were blown only two of them worked and one of the tweeters to having all four speakers working plus the two tweeters and it sounds really good i am super happy with this i am excited to have a real radio in here that's one of the things that was really lacking i could not live with for any amount of time not having um, at least good decent speakers in here that I can actually listen to something on so happy with that um, And uh, I gotta go pick up my son from school. So I think we're gonna Hop into trying to get the AC system working here 
I think that's gonna be our next thing. Good morning, everybody. We are back at it with the Vibe and the tires are back off because I drove this thing yesterday after we put the stereo in it and I found more problems. So one problem being a big clunk in the front end just kept getting worse the more I drove it. It's the sway bar end links. So we got two new sway bar end links. I've already got the old ones off. They required, um, three of the ends required cutting and one actually came, the bolt, the nut came out. So I've got this prepped and ready to put the sway bar end links back in. Uh, I've been dialing in, in the alignment a little bit today. And then um, we've got uh, other things going on, but let's get these, um, Let's get these sway bar end links tossed in there. All right, we got both of those on. Here's your second one. We are good to go with those, thank goodness. All right, so the other thing that I found is that our, my PCV, well, I found that the valve cover gasket is still leaking. Um, it's kind of just leaking all the way around. So I'm wondering if I have excess crankcase pressure. So I got a new PCV, so we're gonna throw that in and we'll see what happens. Alright, got this uh, ARP thread sealer. I'm gonna put this on there. Okay, new PCV. Uh, what else? What else? There's always more. There's plenty more to do on this car. This car needs a lot of stuff, but uh, we're chipping away at it. All right, guys. It's been a couple days. I've been driving the vibe. We got some. We got some parts in, so we got to continue with the saga. We don't have the uh, AC compressor uh, clutch in yet, but that should be coming in a couple days, or I think tomorrow. But anyways, what we did get in <coughs> was this vibrant resonator. This uh, resonator has a ton of good reviews. It is still straight through, so we're not putting any restriction on the exhaust. Um, the car sounds really good it's good at idle but it has this drone on the highway which is a problem with a lot of these cars moving exhaust on them so we're gonna put this resonator on here i also have this flex pipe i'm gonna see if i can fit this in here this little tiny flex guy um sometimes it seems like there's like an actual vibration like a resonance this might actually just take care of that but um i'm gonna see if this is possible to fit in there no big deal if it isn't uh the other thing that we got in which is huge is a brand new genuine Toyota uh, window seal. So uh, I showed you guys before, or, or I told you guys before that I, my window seal is just terrible. And uh, it's actually missing pieces and the window rattles around in there. So I ordered a brand new genuine Toyota part number. Hopefully this is right. Um, should be. Uh, window seal. So. This is actually, yeah, this is the glass. This is the seal that the glass uh, rides in. And it is really deteriorated, um, falling apart and missing in some spots. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of wind noise when we're driving and also have a fair amount of, oh, we also have a rattle because uh, the window track is like two pieces. And when that's in there, it's kind of isolates it and solid. But when it's not in there, there's like this one little piece of the lower window track and it's kind of rattling around in there. So that's my goal today. I got a few hours, so I'm going to go pick up my son. So hopefully we can get this exhaust handled and get that window seal in. At least get the exhaust handled. So let's get this thing up and I'll show you guys what we're going to be uh, replacing. All right, guys. So this is where we're going to be putting... The resonator. Um, I, when I was reading, Vibrant had this. Um, Vibrant had this article that said that you want to put this resonator. I was thinking I was going to put it back here and maybe take out this two foot, this one that I got here, which is not actually two feet. But we got this little skinny resonator and it ain't doing much. But right here, 
which is under the driver's seat. They said that's where the resonator should be. That's where a lot of your sound comes from. And that actually totally makes sense. Um, so we're going to see, hopefully we can fit it in there. I do not see this flex coupler fitting now that I look at it, but yeah, so we're basically going to have to go to that flange and then right there. So the only way we would be able to fit this in here is uh, putting it somewhere else or putting it on the other side of uh, the O2 bunk. Um, but as of right now, it looks like we'd be fine just to cut the uh, flange off of the V-band here, weld it to this pipe here, and then I think this will probably slip over the, this pipe. We'll see once we get it taken down. But first, yeah, that's what we got to do. We got to get this thing out of here, which requires V-band here, V-band back there, and this little mount thing, and these two little mounts here. Take the O2 sensor out, and uh, we'll be in business. Start with the O2 sensor. so we can chop it up again. I'm actually going to go throw this in the lathe and clean it up and make it so it fits the pipe better. Alright, so I just chucked that up in the lathe and I just kind of, I flattened it out and then just put a little lip on it. It's not a very good one, but it'll work perfectly with this. It's just going to get welded, so... There you go, we just gotta weld that on. I need to make sure that it's straight in there. Seems pretty straight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this too. Um, this has a slip fit, this, this slips over this and it's got like two and a half inches of slip. So I'm gonna make an initial cut, maybe a little bit too long. Um, and then we'll trim it back once we get it back in the car, get it fit. That's in there. I think that's good sitting right there. It's a little bit exhaust shield. I'm gonna have to tweak it. There it goes. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Could pull it up just a smidge. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Pick it up just a smidge. Thing fits in there perfectly. Exhaust is real solid. Let's get this thing down and hear what it sounds like. All right, let's fire this thing up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Alright, that exhaust sounds good so far, um, but the issue is the drone on the highway. So hopefully that's solved. We'll take it for a drive here in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and fix the door. You can kind of hear how rattly it is, and then when you close the door, yeah. So, uh, we gotta pull the panel off. We gotta pull this off, pull the panel off, and pull that seal out of there and put, pop the new one in. We got the window down. Somebody has been in here, they replaced the regulator. Um, so that's fine, um, but uh, we gotta go ahead and get this. I don't know if I have to pull the window to do this, but I'm just gonna pull the old one out and then we'll see. Remove the window. Let's grab the new seal. I did uh I did this door first with the kill mat and then um, when I did the other doors like this one I was going pretty minimal then when I did the other doors I did more so I'm gonna fill in these spots that I missed probably just one more sheet of kill mat and then we'll be good We got the window seal. We need to, I guess we got to put the window back in. We're good there. And then we get to do the plastic. Find a piece of plastic to put over this. And then finish putting it back in. So let's do the window. All right, we got all that grime off the bottom edge of the window. Came out this way. So let's try to put it back in this way. So I got a black garbage bag. I have to uh, trim it up and get all the little um, butyl. Uh, I have some butyl in the cupboard. I gotta go get it and put it around the edge. Try to make it as close to the factory as possible. I gotta make hole for this. This is what holds it on in one spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off and use that to hold it in as well. That'll probably be my main point and then I'll work, away, work, work my way around from there. So you buy this stuff probably from an auto parts store, but also from Amazon. And it comes a little roll like this. So we're gonna put this down wherever it's missing it, and we'll get this thing attached, which is a lot of it. Let's see. Starting to miss some right here. Okay there all right my camera died but we're getting there okay so we got that part oh I was gonna get a razor blade need a razor blade get another. Listen to this. 
No more window rattle. This is gonna be massive. All right, the only thing to do now is go for, go for a drive. All right, guys, I already feel like there is a difference in sound. You know, we had that, so that stop beeping here. So we had that straight piece of pipe, basically, and it's right here. It's like right at the bottom of your seat, basically, or underneath the shifter. And we had that straight piece of pipe and I think that was basically what was, hopefully that's what was causing the drone. So, let's take it for a drive and see. All right, this is with the windows up. So far, very quiet. We haven't even gotten on the gas yet, so we gotta let her warm up before we get into it too good. It's nice. See, that's already higher than our uh, traffic speed. That's about where we cruise on the highway. It's around 3,000 RPMs. It sounds way better now. I mean, way quieter at least. At least from the inside. We need some glasses. Let's see. All right. Put these on. Okay. We're gonna warm this thing up. We're gonna take it for a quick uh, stroll down the highway. I think, and then. Uh, I think we're good, honestly, because this is, so that's fourth gear, and that's about what we're seeing on the highway, is that kind of cruising right there, and it is nice and quiet. I just want to make this thing a good daily driver, but I do, you know, I like modifying cars, but I don't want to do anything that really compromises the ride quality and stuff, you know, it is a Corolla, it doesn't ride like a Cadillac or anything, but... I don't want like a harsh ride. I don't want loud exhaust, but I do want the exhaust to sound good. Sounded better. All right, let's do it with the window down, see what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds good outside still. That's 4,000 inch RPM. onto the highway here. Um, 
Uh, there's an 18 inch long, more like a traditional resonator glass pack design, but it has those little louvers on the inside. That's the second part of the exhaust. Then it goes back and over the axle, and then it goes into that Flowmaster Flow FX muffler, which is, it's like, a, it's a lot like a Magnaflow. It's a straight through uh, design. So I think if we want any more quietness out of this thing, we'll just have to swap out the muffler because I think we got rid of the drone totally. All I hear right now is the exhaust from the back. And once we turn the radio up, we probably won't hear it at all. So super happy with that. I'm really happy with my window. Uh, situation finally being sealed up that makes a huge difference we got that um, we got that plastic on there again so I don't know what kind of difference that makes but it's got to make a difference uh, the, the, the doors have drains in them so really the door the inside of the door is slightly exposed to the outside you know forces the weather humidity and all that stuff so Putting that plastic in there basically gets you another barrier between you and the outside, and that's why they have it from the factory. So we're going uphill again, and uh, yeah, I don't hear the drone. I'm, I'm telling you, like I could hear the exhaust right here um, before I put that resonator right there. Like I could hear a drone from there. So we're going up a hill, and all I can hear really is the exhaust out the back, and it's not bad. It's definitely livable, especially for how good it sounds. See what this thing sounds like on the other one. Alright. It sounds good. I'm super happy with it. The drone has gone on the highway. It's it's nice and quiet most of the time. There goes the camera on the floor. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. Um definitely live with it we got our wind noise fixed we got a lot of stuff uh, right now we're waiting on the air conditioner clutch and once we get air conditioning in this thing this thing is totally ready to just to drive every day I'm, I'm driving it right now anyways even without air conditioning it's gonna be like 80 today they say but right now it's overcast and it's not bad um, but we'll see this thing gets a little hot when you don't have AC in it um, but uh, yeah I'll catch you guys when we get that AC uh, clutch in all right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to give you that uh, AC fix on the next episode, so stay tuned. Please smash the like button for me. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to get notified of future videos coming out from DJ's Hot Rod and Fab. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.